Hi there. Today I'd like to tell you a little bit about one of our Pennsylvania saints. Her name was Catherine Drexel. And Catherine Drexel was a saint who lived in reasonably recent times. Now, she was born in Philadelphia in 1858. She wasn't just born into a rich family. She was born into a family that had fabulous wealth. Now, her father was a financier, and so he just made loads of money. But it was very interesting when you read about her early life. Her mother died when Catherine was just a few months old, and her father then later remarried, and Catherine had a very good relationship with her father and with her stepmother. Now, her father wasn't just a rich man who was interested in making money. He was a, a rich man who was very interested in his relationship with God. He was somebody who spent a half hour in prayer every day because he felt he needed that. With her stepmother, she opened the doors of the house three times per week to feed people who were poor and hungry. Uh, it was a day and age in which there was great poverty. Her, mother, her stepmother saw that and needed to do something to help. And so that's what she did. Now, Catherine was raised in that fabulously wealthy atmosphere. She had tutors. She didn't go to school. Uh, her father thought that she should learn geography, not just by reading about it, but if they were going to learn about England, they would take a trip to England. If they were going to learn about the American West, they would take a trip to the American West. And so that's what her life was like. But her eyes were open. You know, she had that same sense of a responsibility to God that her father did. She had that same sense that she had to be responsible to those in need that her stepmother demonstrated so well. And so, for instance, when they went out to the West, she saw how the Native Americans were living on their reservations. She saw the plight of African Americans, and the poverty they lived in in so many parts of our land. And she decided as time went on that something needed to be done. Now, after her father died and she inherited this incredible fortune, she went to Europe and there she had an audience with the Pope. And she asked the Pope, Your Holiness, would you please send some missionaries to the American West to help the Native American people? And he said, well, why don't you become a missionary yourself? And that left its mark, and she realized that that's exactly what she could do. So she joined a religious order. She became a nun, and she gave, or spent the rest of her life giving her fortune away. I read earlier that in today's dollars, the fortune would have been, or would be, about $400 million, and she spent that money well. She opened 40 or 50 missions and schools on Indian reservations in the West. She opened dozens and dozens of elementary schools for African Americans in the rest of the country. Her crowning achievement was that she opened the first black college in the United States, Xavier University in New Orleans. She spent her life doing what she could for those in need. Uh, she was interested in the plight of the African-American people and the Native Americans decades before anyone else was, and she did what she could to help. And so when I think about Catherine Drexel, there are two or three good lessons we can learn from her life. First, her holiness didn't just come from nowhere, but she had that good example of her father who prayed every day and had this idea that he was responsible to God. She had that wonderful example of her stepmother who did what she could to feed those who were disadvantaged. When Catherine saw that there were people in life who needed her, she immediately stepped up to help in whatever way she could. And given her resources, she was able to help a great deal. Secondly, I'm always impressed by people who go above and beyond. She was somebody who could have just spent the rest of her life taking trips to Europe, you know, living in a big house, and having a wonderful time. But instead, she used her fortune to help those who could benefit from her help. Uh, she was somebody who did go above and beyond. And we should always ask ourselves, what can I do? What more can I do? 
So that's the second thing. And the third thing is, she was somebody who went through life with her eyes open. Eyes open to see, where am I needed? What does God need me to do? What do the people around me need? And when she saw a need that nobody else was meeting, nobody else really cared much about, she did what she could. And that's a good lesson for each and every one of us. We all have this call to be saints in a way, and that is to ask what God might want, what the people around me might need, and then what can I do? And that's exactly the sort of life Catherine Drexel led, and that's why we look at her as being one of the heroes of our faith.